Hi, I'm Kiko from Polkadot World. Polkadot World is a global Polkadot community, and we have been following up Polkadot since 2019. In this video, I'll talk about what is a parachain auction, how does that work, and how can you participate in it through CrowdLoan. Let's start. So first, what is a parachain auction? The entire Polkadot network is made of one relay chain plus multiple parachains which work in parallel. Once a parachain connects to the relay chain, it can enjoy the shared security and high scalability. It can interact with other parachains and can even interact with other networks such as Bitcoin and Ethereum through bridges. However, the number of parachains that Polkadot can support is limited. You have to bid for a parachain slot in the Polkadot parachain slot auctions so that you can rent a slot for a certain period and be in a parachain during that period. So how does the auction work? The maximum lease duration of each slot is about two years, divided into eight leases, with three months for each lease. You can choose to rent for the entire two years by yourself or only rent for some leases. So one slot can be shared by up to eight teams. The team or combination with the highest total bid will win the auction. The auction mechanism for Polkadot is quite unusual. It's called candle auction. Each auction lasts for seven days. The first one day and 18 hours are the opening periods. At this time, everyone can bid and no need to worry that the auction will suddenly end. The next five days are called the ending period which is more exciting because a random number will be generated later and traced back to a real ending block during the ending period. The highest bid at that block is considered as the real winner, so to some extent, the ending period could be ended at any random time. This way, bidders are encouraged to treat each bid as the last bid, and that's why it's a healthier price discovery mechanism. The important thing is that when you rent a slot, you're not spending your thoughts, instead you're just locking them up during your lease. There are two ways to bid in an auction. One is to directly bid, that is, the team needs to prepare a lot of dots in their wallet in order to bid. Another way is to bid through crowd loan, that is, the team borrows dots from many different holders. As a dot holder, you can lend your dots to the team that you support to contribute to their bid. If the bid is successful, then your dots need to be locked during the lease period and cannot be transferred or staked until the lease is over. But you will get a certain reward from the parachain project you supported. The rewards can be their tokens, NFTs, or some other stuff. However, if the team fails the auction, then you can unlock your dots as soon as the crowd loan is expired or ended. In a word, crowd loan allows every dot holders to access projects that you like in the early days and all you need to pay is just the opportunity cost of locking up the dots for two years or less time. So how exactly can you participate in a crowd loan? First, you need to go to the official channels of the project that you are interested in, read their parachain auction plan, find out some key information such as when do they plan to bid, how long will the lease time be, what and how much reward will be offered, and how is it distributed. Most importantly, you need to estimate that will the reward be greater than the dock staking reward during your lockup period, which is around 14% annual return at this moment. After finding out all the information, the next step is to unbound your dots. Because the dot unbounding period is 28 days and the first slot auction will happen on November 11th, if you want to participate in crowd loan, it's best for you to just unbound your dots now. Plus that some projects will offer extra rewards for early birds. The third step is to choose a crowd loan method that suits you most. There are several ways to participate in a crowd loan. The safest and most reliable way is through Polkadot's official UI, polkadot.js. Just visit polkadot.js.org, find the crowd loan type, and click the contribute button. In this way, your dot is just locked in your own original address, and the project you supported can't even touch these dots at all. In addition to Polkadot.js, some parachain projects will also offer crowd loan portals, which offer some useful features, such as Akala LC dots, Bifrost VS dots, and Parallel C dots. You can liquidate your dots by issuing a derivative, so that while your dots are locked, you can still use the derivative to trade and play with DeFi. Considering that the lockup period in crowd loan can be up to two years, these features are quite attractive, but these approaches are usually semi-decentralized. For example, you need to transfer DOT to a multi-signature address to enjoy these features. 
In addition to that, some exchanges will also provide access to participating parachain auctions. Maybe it's a more convenient way, but it's also very centralized. So I would not recommend that. The fourth step is to really participate in the crowd loan and watch for the results of the auction. So that if your crowd loan wins, you can get ready for the rewards. And if it fails, you can withdraw your coins as soon as possible. Finally, let's take a look at Polkadot's parachain auction schedule. There will be two batches of auctions. The first batch will start on November 11th and will decide five parachains. The second batch will start on November 23rd and will decide six parachains. So, which teams will bid in the upcoming Polkadot auctions? What are they doing? What reward will they offer? We will make a series of videos to introduce that. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel. See you next time!